Hello everyone, I am Gustav. Today I am going to show you how to set up VS Code for C++ development on Windows. In this tutorial, I will be using the MingGW W64 compiler with CMake to set up a project. You will need VS Code or VS Codium, depends which one you like, MingGW W64 compiler, a browser and CMake. Now I'll stop wasting your time and get right into it. Firstly, we are going to locate to code.visualstudio.com slash download to download Visual Studio Code. Now if you are like me and do not like Visual Studio Code, you can also install VS Codium. After this we can install our extensions. The first extension we are going to install is the C++ extension pack. This includes C++, C++ themes, CMake and CMake tools. We can simply click install or select download extension if you are using VS Codium. I'm also going to recommend you install CMake language support. This will only add some syntax highlighting and some autocomplete and just speed up the all CMake process. Again, you can click on install if you have VS Code or download extension for VS Codium. The next step is to install CMake and we can do that by locating to cmake.org slash download. This is where you will see all the binaries for CMake and I'll recommend that you install Windows X64 installer. Lastly, we are going to install our compiler. You can find your compiler by locating to winlibs.com and searching for the downloads section at the bottom of the page. I am going to be using the UCRT runtime GCC 13.2 Win64 version. You can simply click on the zip archive to download the zip. After we have downloaded all the needed files, make sure to run all the installers to set up all the dependencies. Then we can locate to our downloads folder where our compiler is located. After this, we are going to create a folder in our C drive to house all our compilers. Now we can extract our compiler by hitting extract to winlibs x86 64. This is going to extract the compiler to its own folder, and this folder we are going to put into the folder we created. But first, I want to relocate all these files to the top level of the folder just to keep everything consistent. After we have moved all those files, we can delete the MingGW W64 folder. Now all the files is in the top level of the folder. Now we can move this folder to our created folder in the C directory. As you can see, I already have three other compilers, so I am not going to install this one as well. Next we can open our Visual Studio code where we are going to install our extension. If you are using Visual Studio code, your extension will already be installed, but if you are on VS Codeium, make sure to go to the extensions tab and drag the extension into the extension tab. It may ask you to reload, so make sure to reload the application. Now that we have installed our extension and we moved our compiler to the C directory, we can start working on our project. Open the Explorer tab and click Open Folder 
to open the folder dialog. Now you can choose where you want to store your project. Once you have opened the folder, you will see a blank screen where all the files will be. Since we haven't created any files, there won't be anything yet. The first thing we're going to do is open our settings, go to extensions, CMake tools, and search for CMake additional compiler search directories. Now, we have to remember where our compiler was stored because we have to enter our, our path to our binary directory into VS Code. This will allow VS Code to exactly know where the compiler is so that we can build our files with ease. So now locate to the compiler directory. When you have located the directory, open the bin folder and click on the top address bar to get the path. Copy the address and paste it in the additional compiler search directories. Now that you have added a compiler, we can start writing our CMake file. Start by adding a CMake list file. Immediately it will open a dialog for us to choose our compiler. Yours might not look like mine, but I already have a bunch of them. But the one you installed should be this one. If your project doesn't immediately build, you can also open the command palette and select configure to manually build it every time. Then we are going to write our CMake file. Now the code I have added is supposed to add a small executable from the file main.cpp but at the moment it's giving me an error telling me there is no sources. So how are we going to fix that? We're going to add a source directory and create a main file. This will be the entry point of our project where our main function will be and this is what will run when we open the executable. To fix the errors just recompile. Now the project is set up and we can hit build. We see it, the build has succeeded and everything works fine. Now, if you need to add include libraries, you can just create an include folder and add it to the CMake file by calling target include directories, add the target name, and give the folder. Now, immediately I am going to get an error because I gave you the wrong directions. You have to add private, public or interface. I usually just use private because it works fine. So just call private before include and everything just works fine. Now you can even include files from your include directory.
I seem to be getting the same error every time it's still not linking properly but I found the error it's caused by me just making a mistake this target link target include directories now everything should be working fine I can easily include any file it should not be giving me any errors you can also use other CMake features like target link library and other unique CMake features most of them should be supported just note that some of the libraries have to be manually imported because the compiler does not automatically add them to the project so that's it guys thank you for watching my video this is how to set up VS Code for C++ development have a nice day